Joining us now is stand-up comedian, podcaster, actor, and so much more. It's Burt Kreischer joining us, and it's very exciting to see you. And fittingly enough, yeah. with the top off for the Tops Off World Tour that you're starting, and look, you got our Danny Graves all on board as well. How's it going, Burt? Uh, today is a beautiful day. I'm having one of the best days of my life. I woke up super hungover, went to the gym, <laughs> worked out hard, polar plunge, sauna, and I'm here. You know what? That's my kind of day. I might yeah. be slightly there with you. Watched a lot of women's college basketball with some cocktails last night. So, uh, by the way, by the way uh, those women's basketball games have been fun to watch. I've been watching them, too. Fantastic. Who do you like the best? Are you a Caitlin Clark stan? Uh, no, I, I'm because I've been following the Vols. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's music to my ears. I am a V-O-L-S stan as well. So I appreciate you. Thank you. And you can. It, oh, yeah. You know, I jump on our bandwagon anytime you want. But uh, we are certainly excited that you get to come here to the United Center where we're currently sitting uh, for your Tops Off World Tour. And I know that you've gone to very exciting cities before, but why is Chicago up there high on the list? Oh, Chicago. First of all, I can eat my way through that city in like a day. <laughs> I, I, I have a problem with Portillo's. Like when I go there, I like my sandwich sloppy, like a one night stand. I want it covered in everything, and and I and I will order two sandwiches and I, Chicago dogs. I'll tell you right now, I have not once gone through the Chicago airport and not had a Chicago hot dog. That is the best way to represent a hot dog, in my opinion. That is the best hot dog out there. I completely agree. Do you with the pickle, the peppers, all the stuff on it? Yeah. Oh, everything, everything. And then uh, I one time was in Chicago and I had two deaf people come to my show, and they were fans of mine. And I we went to Luminati's together, and I had to explain deep dish pizza to two deaf people. Oh, my oh gosh. I, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall. No here kidding. Now. No kidding. Look, oh, it, it, they laugh pretty aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been laughing pretty aggressively all morning as we've watched Danny Graves strip down his shirt here so that he can match you. I yeah. feel like you guys are having a nice little masculine moment here. Yeah, I, I did this just for you, Bert. Like, I'm a huge fan, and I know that you don't like shirts on. I don't either, but I had to keep the vest on because I don't have anywhere to put the microphone. Other than that, <laughs> oh, I would have I would have left it off. You tape it. You tape it to your chest. By the way, that two shot of us is the threesome no one wants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, true. Very true. <laughs> they, look like, they look like they found us in a bar in Key West. <laughs> <laughs> Except that he maybe needs a little bit more of a tan. What do we think, Dan? Yeah, uh, my chest is a little pale. My abs are kind of dark. Um, I tried to do some sit-ups this morning before the show, but um, it's a little dark. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I played baseball guy with a guy named Danny Graves growing up in Tampa. Uh, here's the deal, Danny. Wait, wait, I'll tell wait, you wait. this. Spray wait, pants. that is... The Danny Graves right here. I'm from Tampa. I went to Brandon High School. Buddy, I used to I used to bat off you. What school did you go to? <laughs> Jesuit. You went to Jesuit? You were Danny so you were Graves? there with Brad Radke? Brad Radke, I was his catcher. Danny Graves? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding Danny me? Danny Graves, Danny Graves threw heat. Let me tell you something. This was what, wait, what happened? Did you, did you go to college and play? He's uh, a Reds Hall of Famer, Bert. I did. He I, is in the Reds wait, Hall wait, of Fame. Went, wait, you went on to play pro? Yeah. I did. I, are you lying? You're lying right now. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear yeah, to God. No, he like literally was like, just Danny inducted. Graves. Yep, into Danny the Reds Graves. Hall of Fame. Yeah, I grew up in what? Tampa, dude. I went to Brandon High School. Brad Radke you, you, was a good you, friend you, of mine. Don't say Tampa. You didn't grow up in Tampa. You grew True. up in Brandon, Danny. Uh, well, actually, we both know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows Brandon. It's actually Valrico. I'm sure you've heard of Valrico. That's Valrico. straight trailer trash of Valrico. That's where the yeah. Gators live. Yeah. Listen, Danny. <laughs> I, Danny, I, there's a few names I remember growing up. A few names. Buddy, you were a monster. That's A monster. That's so funny. That is hysterical. I can't believe you just said that. How did we end up with these two guys both shirtless in this moment? I will not <laughs> understand for a while. If you had looked at us in high school and said, uh, as we're shaking hands, walking across the pitcher's mouth <laughs> from first base to third base, and you had just stopped and you're like, hey, man, when you're 51, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you shirtless in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, what? Wait, are, are we lovers? Do we <laughs> fall in love? <laughs> oh, well, I kind of have a man Andy, crush wait, now. Are you yeah. kidding me, man? That is insane. That is insane. It is such a small world. I can't believe this. I this cannot believe wait, this. Wait, where did you go? Where, I, by the way, you have to come to my show. We got to hang out. I want to catch up. Wait, so you, 
What, you graduated. Where did you go? Play? Did you play in college? I, I played at Miami University, of Miami, and then uh, went to the, did got you drafted. Play with Brucey? Yes. Do you remember? Bruce? Yeah. That kid had the most beautiful. What's he doing? Bruce Thompson. I, I hadn't talked to him in a long time, but he did have the prettiest he swing. He had the most beautiful swing. Yeah. You, and then uh, these are the names I remember. Do you remember Kiki? Kiki, Kiki was the Jones from Hillsborough. Kiki, Kiki Jones. Jones. He smoked me with a 95 mile an hour fastball, right in the Bro, side. I, yeah. That's Ooh. the one man yeah. I was terrified to face. He threw hard. Heat, yeah. Real heat. Radke. Rad, I call Radke. And Radke. I got recruited to go play at Florida State based on the idea that I could catch Brad Radke. Because really? he had so much movement. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. went. I walked on the first day. Coach Martin was like, "Yeah, we can always use a bullpen catcher." I go, "All right, I'm gonna smoke weed." <laughs> <And I partied. laughs> well, I think you made out. It worked out pretty good for you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever have what it takes to. I listen. There's only one way me and you would ever get to hang out again. It was not going to be in the professional baseball league. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you know what it is? It's just being shirtless in front of thousands of people. Yeah. So maybe yeah. you can give hey, him some tips crazy. here because I, I think he was a little, this, a little shy. Guys. Danny Graves and Burt Kreischer back together again. I know. Is it crazy that I remember? I rem that's how good of a baseball player you were when we were kids. Is that I have always remembered your name. So that's a f I told somebody yesterday that we're the same age, and I didn't yeah. even know that you were from the area, man. That's so cool. That is so cool. You still got all your hair. <laughs> Now, now he's jealous, and you were jealous of him. You were I, jealous. You wanted yeah. some nipple covers. Yeah, I, yeah. Speaking of, I saw a picture of you on the internet, Bert, and you had like pasties on. I've been looking for pasties because, <laughs> have you ever had nipple rings? Because I've had nipple rings before. I almost made that decision in college in Key West, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Well, I did it sober. I was sober when I had got my nipples pierced. And now they're forever, like, glass cutting. Oh, yeah. oh for real? Yeah. So I really need pasties. And I want to know yeah, where you I, got them. Uh, no, I, I, I have a lot, of, uh, a lot of accoutrements for my shirtless. It's really hard to dress this body up. <laughs> so I, I've done just about everything. But I will tell you, spray tans are underrated. They are so great. A spray tan is, like, worth a month in the gym. Completely agree. I have I have yeah. one a week. This is kind of Wait, a what is that's a spray tan. Oh, you got one. Carb abs yeah, this on is spray stomach. tan. I know, believe it or not, Bert, I, I don't really have abs like this. This is a total spray tan. <laughs> coloring them in. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is fantastic. I'm absolutely loving this reunion. I'm excited for him to get here at the United Center. And now all these fans are writing in wanting to ask you some stuff as well because they are just blown away this by this, so awesome. this connection here. But first, uh, Casey wants to know what's the worst time you've ever had with your shirt off? Uh... I don't have a bad time with my shirt off. When my shirt comes off, <laughs> it's a party. I, every time my shirt, I've been kicked out of a couple of Buffalo and Wild Wings of, with my shirt off. Yeah, standing on the table, hopefully. Yeah, I think if your no, shirt, no, comes, no, no. shirt comes off, there's no bad time. Listen, I've gotten to a place now when I take my shirt off, everyone's like, ah, that's his thing. It's fine. But I had to get there. Like, you can't just, like, I, I took my shirt off at a Buffalo Wild Wings one time, and the guy's like, you got to leave, man. And I go, we're watching the UFC. It's a blood sport. They're both naked in there. Like, why can't I be my, have my shirt off? And he was like, we've got standards. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I don't. Um, uh, let's get to Mark Carmen, shall we? Uh, he says that he's actually curious if you responded poorly to the college football's playoffs the omission of FSU because most Knowles fans in his life are are not thrilled what was your reaction it was horrific it was an horror listen I understand the business side of it but it's horrific for the for the I, and you know it's so funny they're men when you look at them but they are just kids they're a bunch of kids who are trying to live out their dream and they earn the right to play in that game I understand it would have been probably lopsided we didn't have a quarterback lot you know but I'm telling you, they are in the right. And that's what that's what sports is about. If, if I'm right, Danny, you back me up on this. It's about the Cinderella story. It's about the kids that don't that that are coming as underdogs in that championship and up upsell uh, and winning it with all the odds against them. And that's why you watch the game. And that's why you root for those kids. Yeah, because I, I feel like the last few games for Florida State this year were without a lot of their stars and they still won. Uh, but yeah. to the voters who are the committee, whatever. And that's because they have a great, they have a great coach, and that's what great coaches do. Yeah. They lead kids. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm obsessed with coaches and coaching. When you watch, I, I mean, I'm obsessed, obviously, with the last dance. But when you watch Phil Jackson shepherd those men to greatness, and that's really what he did, that's what great coaching is all about.
Absolutely. Hey, look, I know that you were obviously a baseball player, but the next question actually has to do if you were a football player. So Riley wants to know what your scouting report would say if you were in the NFL combine. Uh, 225, 15 times. I can do that. Whoa. Uh, wow. Okay, he's got yeah, the muscles yeah, yeah. on I'm him. On, I'm, on, I'm, on, uh, I'm on testosterone right now. And so my bench, <laughs> yeah. my bench is pretty aggressive. Uh, 225, 15 times, I think I'd have a pretty slow 40, but that's okay. I make up for it in what I can bring to the shower fun energy, you know, in the locker room. <laughs> you always have to have somebody good in the shower with you. I mean, somebody's got to Hey, listen, back, I, right? I, miss, I miss showering with men. I almost said boys, <laughs> but <laughs> I miss showering with men. It's a fun energy. Danny, you were there in the pros. How great is it to get naked with a bunch of your buddies and smack an ass or two? You know, it was funny because I was telling these guys the other day that I got to shower with Ken Griffey Jr. and I've seen him naked, so it's... It's a thing. I, sword fighting is really a thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I, I definitely, I asked, uh, I, I was doing an interview with Shaq, and he said, Bert, if you woke up in my body one day, what would be the first thing you do? I said, get naked and get in front of the mirror. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, if you needed any reason <laughs> to go to the Top Soft World Tour here at the United Center Thursday at 7, there's your answer. Bert, we appreciate you joining us, and it's been so fun uh, watching you two get to catch up. Are you guys, com are you guys coming to the show? I would love to. We would to. love to. You have to. You have to. Danny Graves, you have to show up to the show. I can't believe, man. Congratulations I on all your success. It is so cool. I've thought of your name for the past 31 years. And it is so cool to see you and uh, to be shirtless is, with you. The, the, I, I'm, I'm so speechless. glad you took your shirt off. For I'm this so interview. glad I took it off too. But I'm so, glad, I'm so glad that I have such a weird memory that I go, I played baseball with a guy named Danny Graves. I, what are the odds that <laughs> I would? Yeah, that's bizarre. Totally random, out of nowhere. This it was awesome. That so was so cool. awesome. Well, Perfect now timing. we did it. Hey, wait, what was the kid? What was the guy's name? Cherry, the guy that Lamar played, Cherry. Played, Lamar, Lamar Cherry. Cherry? <laughs> he, he hit bombs. He hit bombs. He was a giant too, though. He was huge. Dude, old school redneck farmer strength. Never yeah. lifted a weight. Probably had to carry two pails of buckets of water into his house to wash. Yeah, he went to Armpit High School. Remember Armpit? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. You know what? Yes, I do. Dude, you got to, you got to catch up. We got to catch yeah. up. Yeah, here's an Please idea. Please tell me you still drink. Let's get loaded. <laughs> Absolutely loaded. Portillo's, Chicago Dogs, all the fixings on them, and the United Center. That's where we're going to find them. And look, you get to go watch it all go down. The Tops Off World Tour. Bert, thanks so much for joining us. I love you guys. Woo! <laughs>